A pleasant morning to all of you, especially to our dear panel, Sir Nelson, Teacher Noel, Teacher Shivi, and Teacher Gurney. Please allow us to introduce ourselves. My name morning. is Marit Santos. I am Sahara Makarao. I am Ira Pad. We are the ones who have to study entitled Cacao lives with the scientific name of the extra and seven grass with the scientific name of the Bobogon citrus oil as an alternative pasture plant. The first question that a person would ask if they saw our title is that why did we conduct this study? Our answer is simple. We want to encourage people to use the resources we have here in our surroundings to innovate solutions for the problems that we encounter, especially to take actions from what we have learned from our SIP subject because our product is not just a fulfillment to our requirement, but it is built to help the people, especially the before we present our hey, I also hired you with some ideas on the different kinds of pests. Uh, yeah. No, almost everyone is bothered by pests. That's pizza. This is pizza. To be friendly with products like pasture plants, generally, pests are a chemical substance and an essential commodity for oh, the best born disease. Wow. Here on the screen are the organic and <laughs> in demand products that are used. Share that. You share also your your pizza. Really? Yeah. 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 Another is when the best repellent is flattened. That means it can move in air currents away from the heat and speed. That means So what do we do? Consumer once said that it is okay to use commercially available best repellent since it successfully repels and its effect takes longer. But the researcher opposed to this mindset because we then know danger from People should remember that thing actually helps if they don't think about the consequences. In order to prevent the consequences, the researchers made an alternative best repellent from plants that are abundant in nature, such as cacao leaves and lemongrass. Lemon gas. These ingredients are free and safer than the toxic chemicals found in the pest repellent commonly found on markets. By mixing the extract from cacao leaves and lemon gas oil, we have formulated a product that is consists of suitable components in performing a repellent activity. This investigatory project is not only significant to the household, but also to the students, admins of the school, and especially to the whole community. So for it to be useful, there are five benefits that can be obtained. First, to repel pests without harming human health. Second, to make a pest repellent with easy procedures. Third, to lessen air pollution. Fourth, helping a person to be practical and cost effective. And fifth, just like what I said, it can also act like the pest repellent sold in markets. All in all is to create an organic pest repellent. Here is a video to show you the processes in making this solution. We categorize the creation of mixture into three, preparation of lemongrass oil, 
the caption of cacao leaves, and finally, the mixing of the lemongrass oil and cacao leaves extract. In the preparation of lemongrass oil, we chop 150 grams of lemongrass into 1.5 cm in length and put it in a bowl that contains 150 ml of cooking oil. Take note that the bowl was placed on the top of a pot while boiling the water. We stirred the lemongrass and cooking oil for 30 It is strained using a strainer to separate the oil from the residue. For the decoction of cacao leaves, we washed 100 grams of cacao leaves and pounded it using mortar and pestle. While doing this, we made sure to boil 300 ml of water. When the water reached its boiling point, we put the grinded cacao leaves and stirred it for 20 minutes. When 20 minutes was over, the extracted cacao leaves were also strained. For the final product, we mixed the extracted cacao leaves to the 15 ml of lemon. To confirm that our product can act as a repellent, we observed the movements of cockroaches during the exposure and three treatments with three different replications each. We assigned different cockroaches concentration level to each treatment. To measure its repellency, we used the efficacy percentage, wherein E stands for the efficacy percentage, mu CTL stands for the population mean or the average of the cockroach moved to the non-treated site, mu TX for the population mean or the average of the cockroach moved back to the treated site. After the observations and calculations, we are able to determine which treatment and concentration level is most effective in repelling pests. So here are the results. On the first treatment, the researchers looked for the efficacy of 15 ml water mixed with 15 ml of the solution. 90 minutes after spraying the solution to one side, the efficacy percentage was already 63.76%. This percentage continued to drop for the next 270 minutes. After 180 minutes since spraying the solution, the efficacy rate decreased to 12.73% negative 99.40% after 270 minutes, and negative 546% after 360 minutes. To further understand, here is the table with its time interval, three replication that has its number of cockroaches in the untreated and treated site, and the computed efficacy percentage. If you are wondering on how did we get the number of cockroaches who moved into the treated and untreated site, we place five cockroaches inside a mesh container that has a divider on it. The half side is treated and the other side is untreated. We observed it for every 90 minutes. After the observation, we calculated the average number of cockroaches who moved to the treated and untreated side from three replications. As you can see, while the exposure gets longer, the effectiveness of product decreases. This is because according to United States Environmental Protection Agency, as time passes by, many pest repellents gradually lost their effectiveness after being applied as a result of resistance developed by pests. This is a major decrease in the sensitivity of pests to chemicals, which reduces the field performance of sub substances that are meant to control or kill pests. On the second treatment, the solution is consists of 20 ml of mixture and 7 ml of water. The first one, 80 minutes, has the highest efficacy percentage, which is 92.95%. And 84.52%, it shows that in that time interval, the solution is more effective. After 270 minutes since spraying the solution, the efficacy rate decreased to negative 14.59% and negative 33.33% after 360 minutes. To further understand, here's the presented table. By looking at it, you can see that the longer the exposure, the lower the efficacy percentage. Just like on the first treatment, it gradually lost its effectiveness after being applied as a result of resistance developed by pests. On the third and last treatment, the repellency of 30 ml cacao leaves extract mixed with the lemongrass oil was tested. Out of all the treatments has been made, this one induced the highest efficacy rate containing 100% even after 180 minutes. The change after, this change after 270 minutes and dropped to a percentage of 84.53. Then after 360 minutes, the efficacy rate was already 12.73%.
mentioned in treatments before, treatment tree has no negative efficacy because of its high concentration. As stated by Ms. Luisina, who conducted the study of botanical extract as pest repellent, extracts from plants which produces higher concentration also provide longer protection against pests. After the observations from three different treatments, we concluded that the mixture we made from cacao leaf extract and lemon grass oil is effective to be a pest repellent. Treatment 1 has the lowest efficacy percentage, but it also showed a positive outcome by showing 63% on the first 90 minutes. For treatment 2, it also showed a positive result because it has reached 92% and 84% for more than 180 minutes. Lastly, the treatment 3 which showed the best result for not having a negative efficacy percentage and for reaching 100% twice. Lastly, our recommendations. The researchers of this study recommended to SIP students for stimulating their interest in providing knowledge and performing investigations to the household for suggesting easier to make, safer, and cheaper effective test repellent, and to the future researchers for helping them gain a deeper understanding of a similar study. We also recommend to use our manuscript as their basis and improve it using other kinds of containers. To the admins, make sure to use a safer and cheaper mixture of pest repellents. There we have it, our presentation for our science investigatory project. We hope that everything we said will give some ideas to create innovative solutions from the resources found in nature for the problems we encounter. May this presentation inspire everyone to value the things we can learn from SIP subject because the knowledge we can obtain here can make a huge impact in making things better, especially on where we live for its development. And as a human being, our responsibility is to take care of the world. Thank you so much for listening. Again, we are the group. Our dear panelists, we are now ready for your questions. Hi, Pierce. Okay, thank you so much, group two. Uh, panelists, panel of evaluators, the table is now open for the question and answer. Richard, who wants to go first? Po? Teacher Gurley, you want to go first? Shibi, ako muna. Okay, okay po. <clears throat> okay, so um, first of all, I'd like to congratulate the group for uh, the, job, the job well done also in a very nice presentation. Napaka-interactive ng presentation ninyo. Natutuwa ako. Kakatuwa naman. Okay, dun sa ano, sa manuscript na pinasa ninyo, I already check it. Tapos nagdagdag po ako ng comments doon. Uh, paki-check na lang po ano. And then apa. Yeah. Then I observe na tama yung ano, tama yung procedure ng experiment po ninyo. You used uh, different concentration levels. Meron kayong control group which lead you into a result na um, effective yung uh, ginawa ninyong repellent. <clears throat> okay, which has 100%. Ano? So, that's a good result. Ayan, ang suggestion ko lang po is that um, five lang po yung, ano, yung ginamit nyong sample, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, so if you would want to test or to establish the reliability of the result, uh, make use of more samples. Yes, ano? Uh, gawin ninyo siguro ano? Uh, 15 alam, meter. <laughs> oo. Mga Basta marami. Madami. Okay? More samples yes, established. Oh, sige. And then, another suggestion is that gumamit din kayo ng ibang pest. Huwag lang ano, ipis. Sige po, teacher. Okay? And then, 
if you will continue this um, research too, why not compare it to other organic uh, repellent? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so malay malay ninyo eh mas maganda pala yung ginawa nung repellent kaysa san sa kanila. Diba? So, um thank you for your presentation. Magandang result and congratulations to everyone. Okay, thank you so much Teacher Noel. Sir Nelson? Okay, do you hear me now? Yes, sir. All right. First of all, I, uh, I would like to congratulate also the group. Uh, this is the group of how many, how many of you here? Uh, how many of you in the group? Kailang ba tatlo? Tatlo po. Kailang tatlo? Yes, Okay, so, wow, nakita po. I have seen your enthusiasm, all right? Uh, basically, from the, the way you presented it, and then uh, nabang napansin din ni Teacher Noel, di ba? Yung mga presentations, okay. buhay na buhay, all right? Ngayon, um, tanong ko din ito kanina eh. Sino nag-conceptualize nitong investigatory project na ito? Who made the idea? Po, kaming tatlo po. Kasi po, and may personal experience po, um, um, two years ago, nag-amibiasis po ko, which, caused po, which is caused by parang nadapuan po ng insekto yung pagkain ko. Tapos actually po, nagka-asma din po ako dahil sa paggamit nga po ng mga pesticide, ganun po. Tsaka as you can see po, we are experiencing COVID-19. So parang ito po yung solution namin para to keep our places convenient po and clean. Okay, you know what? Um, based from the presentation a while ago, dun sa first group, I have noticed na lahat ay um, um, environment friendly itong mga naisip ninyo, which is for now, ang dami natin ng uh, problema na, na, na experience that could harm our life as a human being sa ating environment ngayon, di ba? And I really appreciate the idea of coming up with this kind of uh, investigator, investigatory project because knowing na itong mga commercial commercial uh, um, repellent, insect repellent natin, eh, talaga hindi pwede sa may mga uh, asthma, di ba? You know that, Teacher yes. Shivi? Yes, sir. All right. And then uh, I really appreciate it because indeed it is very environment friendly. All right? And it's very safe for human beings. Ngayon, um... Naging interesado ako dito sa study niyo. You know what? Kasi knowing na yung mga cacao leaves, di ba? Nag, yeah. na, ano ba yan? Yung very fresh ba talaga ang ginagamit ninyo? Nakita ko yung video eh. Ang hinuhugasan kulay green pa lang. So very fresh siya, di ba? Yes po. Alright. So tama yung sabi niyo. Kasi dito ito, um, ang daming cacao leaves dyan nahuhulog, sinusunog lang. Correct? Ngayon, ang tanong ko, dun sa um, lemongrass oil, kasi hindi ipinakita, how can you make an oil out of the lemongrass? Yun ang gusto ko malaman. Actually, actually, actually po, okay, um, go, go ahead. Pinisend ko po, um, Ginamit ko lang, ay parang in-explain ko lang po, ay paha ko. Kasi po, pictures po kasi yung nagawa namin for procedures, hindi po kami lahat time lang. Pero if gusto niyo pa, ipresent namin yung pictures on how, paano namin ginawa po. Uh, you know, pwede mag-iwan kayo ng sample kay Teacher Shivi kasi I really would pero, want to... Pero, but, yeah, sir. gusto ko siyang maamoy. Okay? Sige po, sige uh, po. Kasi I like lemongrass. I like lemongrass. Yung cacao kasi, meron kaming cacao tree eh. Kaya walang amoy eh. Hindi ko na amoy yung, yung leaf niya eh. Yung leaf niya. So, gusto kong malaman yung lemongrass. Yung interesado ako dun kung how we're able to come up with an oil out of the lemongrass. Which is dalawa lang ingredient nyo, di ba? Alright? Yung para main ingredients nyo is the extract, cacao leaves uh, extract, di ba? And then this lemongrass oil. And then, nagdagdag lang kayo ng water, correct? Now, I really would want to see the the uh, final product of your study. 
Alright. Actually, sir, may dala po kami. Gusto niyo oh, okay. kung makikita. Naka- Dalhin niyo dito. Huwag uh, <laughs> may pets. Dalhin niyo dito. Nag-work. Nag-work from home ako, mga anak. Ay, nasa bar and sandrili ako ngayon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why I told you, just leave it to Teacher Shivy. Then, yes. gusto ko lang maamoy. Okay? Now, I... I really appreciate the effort with this uh, kind of endeavor, my dear students. You see, uh, tama po yung sabi natin, hindi hadlang ang pandemic yes. para hindi natin matapos yung gusto nating taposin. Diba? There's always a way for us to do it if only we had the desire to finish it. Tama po? And okay. that's one thing I congratulate you for that because of that desire and the insistence to come up with, the, with your investigatory project. Indeed, it's already... A job well done to all. Okay? I know not all of you, I know not all of you did the actual experimentation. Tama po? But working in collaboration with one another is already a manifestation of the very beautiful values. Okay? Kasi kung wala yung pagkakaisa, hindi, at isa pa nakita ko dito is that you work as one and then everybody Each one of you work, did their own task, assigned task. So it's a very, very good um, an exa- example of working collaborative, co- collaboratively in this kind of pandemic. Because this is really one thing that we really need to, uh, to, uh, to, to do. Because we cannot really work as a group because, of course, we always have to observe the protocols. Diba? But having come up with this kind of uh, product and you, you bravely accepted to present it, in this uh, virtual presentation napakaganda i really appreciate that okay sana mag-serve kayo as an example a ah? good example for this incoming uh, grade 10 students who are already in grade 9 today yes sir. para sa ganun they will also come up with this kind of of uh, output and sana mas yung yung desire sana ganun ang gusto kong makita eh and sa inyo sa group ninyo I saw that already and I congratulate you for that it's a job well done congratulations my all. dear students thank you so much okay. sir actually some of the grade 9 students um, requested to join the defense para daw mapanood nila ang kanilang mga ate at ko yes so they are here right now <laughs> May naka-join ba? Meron, sir. Uh, we have... Very good. And I'm challenging the grade 9 students who <laughs> are able to join right now. Huh? I'm challenging uh, yes. you. Okay, so you already have the idea. Meron na kayong head start kung anong mangyayari. Then, kailangan. It's a matter of attitude. I always tell you it's a matter of attitude. Walang... Yung sabi nila, basta gusto. May paraan. Maraming paraan. Totoo. Diba? Okay. Sabi nila, kung ayaw, maraming dahilan. Tama po? Yes, sir. All right. So, it's a matter of attitude, my dear grade 10 students. I salute you. You deserve the first batch of grade, uh, grade uh, first batch of uh, science class Oops. in Casa del Niño Rojas. Kinikilabutan ako. Yes. Yes. Okay. Teacher Shivy, of course. Uh, Teacher Shivy, kasama ka dyan. I know uh, you are at their back kasi pushing them to finish what they wanted to do. Your motivation to them is really incomparable. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Teacher sir. Shady. And for your support, din po, sir. Thank you so much. Po. Okay, so congratulations for the first two parts of, or for the first two groups of your class, from your class. So, mamaya, uh, one o'clock after lunch, we're going to hear the remaining three groups. Mainly, we have another insect repellent. But this time, they their wow. subject is within crops, crop insect repellent, and then the other one is the library management system to be presented by the boys, the three boys, and lastly, the uh, calamansi bar. So let's look forward mm. for this, guys, and see you later, po, at one o'clock. Teacher Shivi. Yes, sir. Teacher Shivi. Yeah, uh, a while ago, Teacher Noel made mention na isa pala siya sa nag-review ng manuscript ng mga bata. Yes, sir. Tama? Opo. Yes, sir. Opo, sir. Ano yung nagpadala kayo sa kanya ng, mga, ng manuscript sa kanya? Thank you very much for your support. Ah. 
Salamat, ha? Ah. Okay. Sana hindi ka magsawa, Teacher Noel, ha? Ah, because uh, marami pang darating na ganito. Yes, sir. Welcome po, sir. Teacher Noel, ha? Ah, thank you very much. Thank you for your continued support. Salamat, salamat. Yes, sir. Thank you rin po. Okay. So that's all, Teacher Shibi. Thank you, sir. Uh, okay, thank you, guys. Thank you. See you later at 1 o'clock. Teacher Noel, maraming maraming salamat po. So, well, well, thank you, Shibi. Teacher, and the po ba namin? Ha? Andito si Teacher Noel. Wala na siya? Ayan. Char. Hello, guys. Congratulations. Ayan. Congratulations. Hello, Teacher Helen. Okay. I'll be joining you later doon sa library. Okay, I would like to hear me and the librarian. Hi, Teacher Noel. How are you? Mag-on-com ka naman. Teacher Noel. <laughs> Ayun. Sir, naka-work from home po ako. Ay, naka-work from home. Wala da siyang... Okay po. So, congratulations, everyone. Hi, Teacher Noel. Oh, Kusta? Yeah. Sir. Oh, yeah. Sir, anong masasabi hey, mo, sir, sa ating Helen. mga first batch ng science class? Yan, nagsabi na ako kanina. Ayan. Okay na ba, sir? Pwede Nagsag... na ba silang pakawalan? Yes. How much more when they go to grade 11 or 12? Doon sa kanilang uh, mga research, di ba? Lalong magle-level up yan. I know. Yes, sir. Kasi mga beginners, but they were able to come up with their um, beautiful output already. Manina mm. lang sa kanila yon sir. Sir, ikaw, Sir Noel, what can you say? Oh, uh, ano pa yung mga ano, uh, advices or room for improvement para sa ating mga uh, grade 10 science class? Sir, wala naman in terms of ano sa technical writing, magagaling po sila. Lahat. Lahat po. Kasi nabasa ko po lahat ng manuscript po nila. Doon lang po sa ano, sa... May ibang group doon sa process lang po. Pero in general, in general in general po, maganda naman po 'yung ano. So iniisip ko nga bakit bakit kaya ano, bakit hindi i-consider Sir Nelson, baka pwede niyo i-consider yes. i-compete ito sa ano sa SIP competition. Ay, o pwede do i-isali pero sa pwede. 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 Ayan, nag-aabang lang daw si Teacher Chibi. Ayan. Chibi. Ask ko na meron, po, meron ata sa ano, ng tip. DOST. Oo, Sir Noel, baka meron kang uh, something dyan. Ipass mo naman dito. <laughs> sige po, sige po, Sir. Okay, sige. Thank you, Teacher. Ipass ko na po yung headset. Guys, congratulations. Okay, Justine, Russell, see you later. So there you have okay. it. Yes. Uh, thank you so much, Paul, for uh, staying and for taking part for this uh, program. And later on, we'll see you again po at 1 o'clock. Yeah. Congratulations once again for the presenting. Pwede na kayo matulog. Okay. See you, see you at 1. Oh. You, Pwede na matulog yung two first two groups. <laughs> Pwede na silang matulog. Thank you, Paul. Bye-bye, Paul. Salamat po. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.